face up think you actually did a pretty good job. Okay, a short one. A short one, okay. Here. My mouth is a short one. And you do a very good job. With my constant worry about my husband and about everyone who's working on the front lines, right? Because it's not only about them. It's about their families as well, because we are on the front lines with them. We're the ones that are supporting them. So he's still in the hospital. He's still in unclean environments. So he's wearing masks around the house. Uh, if we keep the distance, he's wearing masks around the house. And if we keep the distance, this would be his <laughs> chair, right? So we, we sit apart. And I would probably sit there and Avi is on the couch, uh, sometimes playing with Legos and, and such. So when he comes in, so these are the masks uh, that he brings in. When he comes in, so I usually put a clean paper towel here. He puts all his um, like cell phone, wallet, a watch, whatever else. What else? Oh, he takes coffee in the morning. So the cup and what I do, I spray it with Clorox. Clorox is outside. Okay, so that's that's the place where he just puts everything in. If he changes here, he strips uh, naked. So he takes his clothes and then I uh, follow him upstairs so he can put his clothes in the washer and then go into his isolation room to take a shower. If my husband was not isolating and if it wasn't for the nature of his work, I think we could have balanced it more so, right? Um, I did feel the gravity of his lack of participation. So for example, he would do dishes, he would help with cooking, right? So he. He didn't have to distance. Now he cannot touch anything clean, right? So even things like folding towels is not is not an option. I mean, it's been very, very, very exhausting. I I can't even, you know. And I feel like I have to move all the time, right? And so because if I don't, if I just don't keep on going and doing things. If I sit down and sort of realize the gravity of the situation and everything and all the responsibilities and the obligations that are on me, I think I, I would just fall apart. Do you remember the chord? Very good. We have no alternatives to healthcare workers if they go or the first responders. If we lose them, it's not like a toilet paper. There is no alternative. But it has a trickle-down effect. It's also their children.